As a public service paid for by the Philanthropic Council to make things nicer, we invite you to spend another educational session with the idol of the nation's youngsters, Mr. Science. As we look in on the modern, well-equipped laboratory today, we see that little Jimmy Schwab is just arriving to watch Mr. Science perform his latest fascinating experiment. Well, there you are, Jimmy. I was afraid you might not get here in time to watch me perform my latest fascinating experiment. Oh, I ran all the way from my special class for underachievers to make it, Mr. Science. Uh, what fascinating experiment have you chosen to perform today? Well, Jimmy, you catch your breath. and We're right. going to compare the specific gravity of some common elements we all use every day. Oh, wowie two-shoes. I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Science. I thought all gravity was fairly specific. Well, don't let the terminology confuse you, Jimmy. Specific gravity merely refers to the numerical value we place on each element in proportion to its ratio to an equivalent volume of water. Oh, joy and excitement. But I don't understand that even worse than what you said before. Oh, that's all right, son. I'm sure the whole principle will become very obvious once we've performed today's experiment by using our modern laboratory equipment, Jimmy. We're going to compare the specific gravity of two common metals. Here I have one cubic inch of lead, and over here one cubic inch of aluminum. Now, which do you guess is heavier? Well, gosh, oh, hemlock, Mr. Science, that's a tough question to answer, especially for me, because I can never pronounce that uh, aluminum, and then, and uh, aluminum. Uh, I can't say it. <laughs> well, even if you can't say it, Jimmy, we wouldn't know if that was the right answer until we'd compared the two scientifically. We do that by using this laboratory device. Jeepers creepers, that's a wonderful laboratory device. Does it have a name, Mr. Science? Yes, this device is called a scale. Great day in the morning. We've got a scale in our bathroom at home, Mr. Science, but you don't have to crawl up into a little brass dish like that to weigh yourself. Well, this is a different kind of scale, son. Now, first we'll put a cube of aluminum in the tray on one side. Jiminy Christmas, look what happened. The tray dropped way down. So that that means the aluminum on one side is heavier than the nothing on the other side. Now, uh, Mr. Science? Well, yes, it is heavier than nothing, Jimmy. But if you'll remember, that's not what we're trying to discover in this experiment. We were going to compare aluminum with lead. So I'll now put a cube of lead exactly the same size in the other tray. Great, chopping Jehoshaphat. The tray with the lead has dropped down much lower than the other stuff, even though both appear quite similar to the naked eye. That's right, Jimmy. Now, do you understand what we've proved? Holy macro! I'm not sure. It's either an awful good magic trick or else you've possessed uh, strange powers that should cause me to fall on my knees and worship at your feet. Oh, well, actually, son, there's nothing mysterious about this if you understand the laws of specific gravity. You see, the lead pulls the scale down farther because its specific gravity is almost eight times greater than that of aluminum. Crime on that lease. That's sure a whole lot greater. I'll bet I'd have to drop the whole box here on top of the aluminum make the scale even again. No, don't move that box at all, Jimmy. It's part of another project I'm working on. Leave it alone, boy. Well, I won't hurt it. I no, just no. want to see it. <laughs> this session with Mr. Science was brought to you as a public service, paid for by the Philanthropic Council to make things nicer.